Welcome to WAC2, a world in perpetual motion that is constantly changing. Today your attention will be brought to the bear on the use of spells, as we present the brand new system, the Spell Deck. Let's take a character at random, a uh, SRAM for example. A SRAM who's as sly, as devious as the rest. Let's look at the spells they have up their sleeves. Like all characters, the SRAM has 15 elemental spells that are unique to that class, and each class has spells linked to three of the four existing elements. At the beginning of their adventures, new characters start with three elemental spells. As they level up, these spells become more and more powerful, and new spells are unlocked. The SRAM is no exception. The maximum level each spell can reach depends on the character's level. You're still following? Good. Active spells are specific to the selected class. For example, our deceitful SRAM has the ability to become invisible through one of their active spells, and in doing so, can do what they do best. However, if you're new, oh and by the way, welcome, you'll notice that you start with only one active spell. You will have to gain experience to unlock the next. And finally we come to the passive spells, and just because they're passive doesn't mean they're sitting there doing nothing. Far from it. They allow a character to boost their damage or add additional effects to the character's other spells. The first passive spell is unlocked at level 10. Easy you might say. Ah, but the second passive stage is only unlocked 100 levels later. Now let's see how all this looks in the game. Here's the new spell management interface, which is presented in the form of a deck. The spell deck encourages you to prepare carefully for combat. You'll need to organise your deck well, depending on what strategy you want to use. Your deck can be modified at any time, except in the middle of battle. As for getting your spells in order, nothing could be simpler. Even a knot could do it. All you need to do is drag your spells into the decide cells. The little magic wand there symbolises the elemental spells you can activate in combat. You have 12 slots, they will unlock as your character levels up, and at the same time you'll benefit from more strategic possibilities. As for the little figure there, the one with the happy expression, it represents the passive spell tab. These also have additional slots depending on a character's level. From level 100 onwards, your character will unlock the spell lock. Do you see it? There, in the centre of the deck? This special slot lets you lock an elemental spell. Once locked, this spell can no longer be used in combat, but its experience will be gradually distributed among the different spells in your deck. It's a clever way to review your spell strategies or just try out new possibilities. Every battle needs its own strategy. This is why the spell interface allows you to perfect several decks, which you can select accordingly to the situation. You can set up a highly offensive deck if you play solo, or a support deck to tackle dungeons within a group. Or even a deck that's totally out there in order to test some crazy combinations. And if by some amazing stroke of luck, one of your decks becomes the new weapon of mass destruction, you're free to share it with your friends with ease, thanks to the deck code that is generated at the bottom of the spell interface.